Hello, I'm Mrs. Duodoth and I'm going to be taking your lesson today. Let's go through the practice activities from last lesson. Did you use your generalizations to help you solve the equations? Let's have a think. Mm. When I add two to an odd number, it gives the next odd number. And the next odd number after three is five. Ooh, two plus nine. Hmm, now I know I can change the order of the add ends and the sum remains the same. So it's easier to think about it as nine plus two. And the next odd number would be 11. Now I've got an even number. So when I add two to an even number, oh, it gives the next even number. So six plus two, the next even number would be eight. 8 is equal to 6 plus 2. I've got an odd number again, and I'm going to switch the order of the add ends. So I've got 5 plus 2, and the next odd number after 5 is, that's right, 7. Oh, I've got subtracting now. Well, subtracting 2 from an odd number gives the previous odd number. So the odd number before 9 is 7. Ooh. Now I've got an even number, but I've got 2 subtract 2. So that's going to give me 0. Put your hand up if you had a go at the challenge questions. Oh, let's have a look at this. So it's shown slightly differently here. We've got 8. We can see that we're adding 2 and we need to know what our missing number is, what the sum is. So I know that when I add two to an even number, I get the next even number. So that will be 10, that's correct. The next one, this is subtraction now, and it's an odd number. So when I subtract two from an odd number, I get the previous odd number, and the previous odd number is three. Oh, this is a little bit more tricky now. I've got 2 plus 6. Well, I know if I change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. So I'm going to think of it as 6 plus 2. So that will be the next even number, which is 8. Fantastic. So let's have a look at the facts that we already know. 1 plus 3. Oh, well... I know that adding one gives one more, so I'm going to change the position of the add ends and the sum will remain the same. So I'm going to think of it as three plus one and it's one more, so that will be four. Now, let's have a look at the next one. Two plus three, or oh, we've done adding two. We know that when we add two to an odd number, it gives us the next odd number. So I can just switch the add ends around and that means that it will be the next odd number after three, which is five. That's right. Oh, three plus three. These are doubles. When both add ends are the same, we're doubling. And double three is... Six, that's right. Oh, I've got four plus three. Well, four plus three is very close to three plus three, isn't it? It's called a near double. So it's going to be one more than six. That's seven. Excellent. It's a near double. Hmm. We haven't seen this one. Five plus three. Okay, so I'm thinking about five plus three. So I've put five in our tens frame because I'm thinking about five and a bit. So then I want to think about the three that I'm adding. Oh, that would be two less than 10. So I could use that strategy to think about what five plus three is. I could also think about another strategy because we've just done adding two. And three is just one more than two. So I could think about hmm, the next odd number after five would be seven, but it's one more than seven. It's eight. Five plus three is equal to eight. Let's have a look at that in a part, part, whole diagram. I can see that five plus three is equal to eight. 5 is one part, 
3 is another part and the whole is 8. Hmm, what's my missing number here then? Did you say it was 3? Ooh, what about if I did 8 minus 5? What would that give me? Did you say that would be 3? 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. What's the missing number in this part, part, whole? Did you say 5? What about if I asked you, what is 8 minus 3? What's 8 minus 3? Is it 5? Let's have a look at these equations. I bet we can do them really quickly, but we're just going to have a look at them first of all. What do you notice about all of these equations? Did you notice that they're all linked and they're all going to use the numbers 8, 5 and 3? So let's see if we can say them really quickly together. We're going to say the whole equation, including the missing number. Are you ready? 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 8 is equal to 5 plus 3. 8 is equal to 5 plus 3. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. You can pause the video and have a look at all these equations and see how they are all linked. What about if we look at this now? 6 plus 3. What can we use to help us solve this really quickly? Did you think about this? This fact, 6 plus 4, is equal to 10. We know this fact because we know our number bonds to 10. And 6 plus 4 is very close to 6 plus 3. But it's just one less. So what is one less than 6 plus 4? That's right, it's 9. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. You might also think about it because we also know that 3 is 1 more than 2. And we have just learnt that when we add 2 to an even number, it gives us the next even number. So that would be 8. And 1 more than 8 is 9. Let's have a look at it with the part, part, whole model. Can you see how 6 is one part? 3 is another part and 9 is the whole. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. What's my missing number? Did you say it was 3? What about if I asked you what 9 minus 6 is? Did you say it's equal to 3? 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Have a look at this diagram. What's my missing number? Did you say it's 6? What about if I asked you, what is 9 minus 3? Did you say 9 minus 3 is equal to 6? I bet we can look at these equations and do them really quickly. First of all, what do you notice about the equations? Did you notice that they're all linked and they're all going to use the numbers 9, 6 and 3? Shall we see if we can do them really quickly? We're going to say the whole equation together. Are you ready? 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 9 is equal to 6 plus 3. 9 is equal to 6 plus 3. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. You're so good at these. Let's see if we can do these really quickly. 
you can pause the video and see how quickly you can do them. Off you go. OK, shall we see if we can fill in the missing numbers really quickly? What's our first missing number? That's right, it's 8. 8 is equal to 5 plus 3. What's our next missing number? 3, that's right. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And our next missing number is 3 again. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. OK, next pair of equations. Can you pause the video and solve these really quickly? Did you have a go? Let's see if we can do it quickly. What's the first equation? That's right, six plus three is equal to nine. So what's three plus six? That's also nine. Did you notice that the add ends were the same? It's just that they were in a different position. And the last equations, I bet you don't even need to pause the video now. What's our missing numbers? Nine minus three is equal to six. And 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. You are doing these so quickly. Fantastic work. This is the practice activity I'm going to leave you with today. There are two word problems here. Can you write the equation that goes with each problem? And can you draw a part, part, whole model as well? The first question says there are nine children. Six of them have scooters. How many of them don't have scooters? You could draw the part, part, whole model first and that will help you to know how to do the equation. The second question says, I need five metres of fabric to make some costumes. I need three metres of fabric to make some curtains. How much fabric do I need? all together. You've worked really hard today and you are doing fantastic remembering your number facts. Well done everybody.